October is here. It's a month of transition and changes in both the hemispheres. After the September equinox, the different parts of the world are gradually changing seasons. In the northern hemisphere, first comes fall and then the winter. Conversely, in the southern hemisphere, first comes spring and then the summer. So light is decreasing in some parts of the world while increasing in others. At the beginning of the October, you can still observe the zodiacal light. In the northern hemisphere, it is visible to the east before morning astronomical twilight in the direction of the sunrise. On the other hand, in the southern hemisphere, it is visible to the west at the end of the afternoon astronomical twilight in the direction of the sunset. Unfortunately, this year, the conditions to observe the Orionids are not very good. And finally, hurry up. This is the second to last month in which you can get to observe the galactic center of the Milky Way above the horizon. When the season is over, you will have to wait two to three months before you can do it again. This is the Universe Factory and let's list out the major astro events taking place in October 2024. If you are enjoying this journey through the stars with me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more out of this world content. Hit that notification bell so you are the first to know when new videos drop. And if you want to stay connected between videos, follow me on different social media platforms, links to which have been mentioned down below in the description. Make sure to check out. Your support helps this channel reach new heights and together we will continue exploring the universe one discovery at a time. The moon will be located on the same side of the earth as the sun and will not be visible in the night sky. This is the best time of the month to observe faint objects such as the galaxies and the star clusters because there is no moonlight to interfere. Check out the description for different interesting stargazing apps to locate night sky objects very easily. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon is too far away from the earth to cover the sun completely. This results in a ring of light around the darkened moon. The sun's corona is not visible during an annular eclipse. Now this eclipse path will begin in Pacific Ocean off the coast of South America and move across parts of southern Chile and Argentina. A partial eclipse will be visible throughout most of the southern South America. I have mentioned useful links about NASA map and eclipse information in the description. Don't forget to check out. The first conjunction of the month where the moon will pass 3 degrees to south of Venus at 2026 UTC. They will appear to be closer to each other. Look above the western horizon in the constellation of Libra where this conjunction will take place. The Draconids is a minor meteor shower producing only about 10 meteors per hour. The Draconids is an unusual shower and the best viewing is in the early evening instead of early morning like most the other meteor showers. The shower runs annually from October 6th to 10th and will peak this year on the night of the 7th. The second quarter moon will ensure dark skies in the early evening for what could be a good show. If you are patient enough, you may still be able to catch a few good ones. Best viewing will be in the early evening from the dark location far away from the city lights. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Draco but can appear anywhere in the sky. Comet C 2023 A3 Chuchinshan Atlas will pass closest to the Earth this day. With a magnitude of minus 2.2, this comet is expected to be visible to the naked eye. You need to look about the eastern horizon around the sunrise time or about the western horizon after the sunset in the constellation of Virgo. I have made a dedicated video about the progress of this comet. I recommend you to check it out. The moon will pass at 6.5 degrees to north of Saturn at 18.12 UTC as they will appear to be closer to each other. In addition to this, Saturn goes behind the moon on what's called an occultation. Look about the eastern horizon in the constellation of Aquarius for this naked eye conjunction come occultation. The moon will be located on the opposite side of the earth as the sun and its face will be completely illuminated. This is also the second of three supermoons of 2024. 
The moon will be near its closest approach to the earth and may look slightly larger and brighter than usual. The moon passes 5.5 degrees to north of Jupiter at 8.5 UTC as they will appear to be closer to each other. This conjunction will take place above eastern horizon in between constellations of Auriga and Taurus but won't be visible to the naked eye since it is happening during the daytime. The Orionids is an average shower producing up to 20 meteors per hour at its peak. It is produced by dust grains left behind by Comet Halley which has been known and observed since ancient times. The shower runs annually from October 2nd to November 7th and it will peak this year on the night of October 21st and the morning of October 22nd. The waning gibbous moon will block out most of the fainter meteors this year. But if you are patient enough, you should still be able to catch a few good ones. Best viewing will be from the dark location after the midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation of Orion but can appear anywhere in the sky. The moon will pass 3.5 degrees to north of Mars at 1956 UTC as they will appear to be closer to each other. This conjunction will take place below the northern horizon in the constellation of Gemini so won't be visible to the naked eye. And that's a wrap up on the amazing celestial events happening in October 2024. Whether you are planning to catch the next meteor shower or witness the planetary conjunctions, this month is packed with cosmic wonders. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future updates. We have much more space events, explorations and deep dives into universe coming our way. Meanwhile watch these suggested videos as well. I'll be back with yet another super interesting video for you soon. Till then, keep looking up.